Welcome to my channel, where we'll take a bite out of history. No, no, I don't mean literally eating it. We will be reading it in today's newspaper. It's time to read a newspaper together. Today's issue of the Oregon State Journal is July 11, 1868. One of the latest Yankee inventions is a mustache spoon. Every young man is expected to carry one in his pocket. The object of the invention is to provide a spoon by means of which soup, medicine, etc may be carried to the mouth without liability of being spilled or of soiling the mustache when such is worn by the person using the spoon. The invention consists of a movable cover so combined with the bowl of the spoon that it may cover the greater portion thereof when the same is filled, thereby securing the object mentioned. Pictures, new discovery. Know all men and women, young ladies and boys, that J.A. Winter has perfected a process by which he can take photographs without showing the freckles, so as to spoil the picture. This is a desideratum, sought for in vain for a long time. It gives delicacy of tone and strength with finesse. Come along before the roads get so bad you cannot travel. The late account of an eagle carrying off a child from Quincy, Illinois, turns out to have been an April Fool cell. The baby was carried off, but the large gray eagle was the steamer Gray Eagle. The reason why John H. Surratt will not again at present be tried for being a party to the murder of President Lincoln is that the former trial proved to all honest men at Washington that it is impossible to get a jury of white men there who would find him guilty on any evidence whatever. Robbery in Yamhill. We learned from Mr. Eugene Brayman that on Monday last, Mr. Eccles, treasurer of the Yamhill County, was going from Dayton, where he resides, to Lafayette, the county seat, with the county funds in his possession. In a ravine near Martin's house, two men masked, stepped forth from a clump of firs, presented revolvers, and relieved the traveler of his own private cash and watch, and also of the $900 county funds in his possession. The county court notified him that he would be expected to make good to the county the money lost. Street Sprinkler we see that a street sprinkler has again been put in operation on Willamette Street. This is certainly a good thing in hot weather as it keeps the dust down and, consequently, makes it cooler and more pleasant. Notice, whereas my wife, Margaret J. Brack, has left my bed and board without any just cause or provocation, this is to warn all persons against harboring or trusting her on my account, as I will pay no debts of her contraction after this date. Philip Brack, Eugene City, July 4th, 1868. Wanted, a home for a boy eight years old. He is bright, active, and intelligent. Any responsible person wishing to adopt such a boy as his own can obtain information by applying at this office. Men and women.
providence has so made the sexes that women, like children, cling to the men, lean upon them for protection, care, and love, look up to them as though they were their superior in mind and body. They make them the sons of their system, and they and their children revolve around them. If a man would have a woman do him homage, he must be manly in every sense, a true gentleman, and polite, because his heart is full of kindness to all, one who treats her with respect, even deference, because she was a woman, who never condescends to say silly things to her, who brings her up to his level if his mind is above hers, who is ambitious to make his mark in the world, and who is always pleasant and considerate, but always keeping his place as the man at the head and never losing it. Such deportment, with noble principles, a good mind, energy, and industry, will win any woman in the land who is worth winning. To prevent animals jumping fences, clip off the eyelashes of the under lids with a pair of scissors and the ability or disposition to jump is as effectively destroyed as Samson's was by the loss of his locks. The animal will not attempt a fence again until the eyelashes are grown. So says Samuel Thorne of Dutchess County, New York, who has tested it with complete success upon every pair of breechy oxen he has had. Hands off. A good story is told by a New Orleans paper of an individual who presented himself to the chief of police with a loud complaint of certain boys in the habit of throwing stones into his house. One, he said, had only last evening struck his daughter on the breast. Was the young lady badly hurt? inquired the chief. No, not badly hurt herself, replied the complainant but the stone broke three fingers on the hand of a young gentleman who is paying her a special attention. <music>